And we're gonna try these out in this vlog. Oh my God, this is so freaking good. Can I tell you what I got? It's very noisy. I look like a 1950s mom. <laughs> you need to help me out. <laughs> when I say I have an itinerary, I mean I really put together an itinerary. And it was just like kind of too perfect to pass up. We're gonna go home and then we're gonna make this TikTok pasta. like ran a few errands before I actually got a pair of pants hemmed I haven't done that in a long time usually if pants are too long I will just return them because it frustrates me to no end as a 411 girl that I have to pay an extra like 10 to 15 dollars per pant because I always have to get it hemmed but I really liked the pair I got hemmed so it's fine I also picked up an Ulta order which I will share with you guys in a minute and then I just like went to the gym but I just wanted to say a really quick sorry if the last vlog ended very abruptly when we got back from pictures I started making a target list and I made myself sad because I was trying to think of like what we were out of and I was like oh we're out of litter bags and I just <laughs> got very sad and I forgot to keep filming the rest of the day I wasn't like super distraught I was just kind of in a funk after that I was like oh well that's sad but honestly I'm the type I don't mind it when vlogs just like kind of end because I know they're like part of a series so they're just gonna keep going but I'm curious with you guys like comment below let me know if you guys don't mind it when a vlog just ends or if you really feel that it needs an outro clip personally like I said I don't mind it the first person's vlogs that I ever watched were Nicole Guerrero's and she never does an outro clip so I'm just very used to that style and to be honest one of my biggest pet peeves is like at the end of a vlog when someone jumps on on their like MacBook and they're like hey I forgot to film an outro clip so hi I'm here on my MacBook just 
letting you guys know the vlog's ending. I just feel like it's not necessary because you know like people who watch your vlogs like are gonna keep watching them because you're just kind of like following someone's life so I just feel like it's not necessary but let me know your guys' thoughts. I'm just very curious if you guys like an outro clip or if you just don't care whether it has one or not. But anyways like I said I went to Ulta and I got a couple of things here. It's a big bag but there's just two things in here. And one of them we are gonna play with this weekend and then the other one I'm gonna do like a dedicated video on. I know that there's been a lot of hair trends going around lately. I feel like hair tools are very, very hot right now. Everyone's experimenting with their hair and trying different things with different kinds of tools. So I got two different tools that I've been wanting to use. The first one is a waver. I've never used a waver on my hair. I used to do those kind of like crimped waves that you do with your straightener. I have a whole video on how I do those, but I've never actually used an actual waiver so I finally got one this one is the bedhead brand and this is the a wave we go adjustable tourmaline ceramic waiver and for this one since it's gonna be my first time using a waiver I am gonna do a dedicated video on it just like my experience first time using a waiver and then just my review on this so that'll be coming up later this month but I was really intrigued by this one because like it says it is adjustable so these barrels look kind of small but you can actually widen them and narrow them and you can get a few different styles it has all of the styles on the back you can go really really tight and defined all the way to like loose and flowy so like I said I will try this later this month and do a little review and demo for you guys then the other thing that I got that took up most of the space is some hot rollers so the brand that I got I think I just got is it Conair yeah I just got like a Conair brand but these are the quick big curls hot rollers I used to use hot rollers all the time I love them I also used to use velcro rollers definitely more back towards like early 2000s when I was like in my teenage phase and kind of experimenting with beauty stuff and I actually really really love hot rollers I haven't used them in a while but I remember that I absolutely love them the only reason why I fell off of them is because like look at the size of this thing this is so bulky to store so I think over time I just got tired of lugging it around and I just got rid of my hot rollers but I know that hot rollers are very very in right now so I wanted to go ahead and give them a try and we're gonna try these out in this vlog I have a shoot with Michelle this weekend so I want to use these on my hair for that shoot but these come with 12 jumbo rollers which is great that's what I was looking for just because I prefer looser more tousled waves and then it also comes with super clips or you can do metal clips oh and perfect the actual roller size is one and a half inches which is the same barrel size as my preferred hair curler so that's perfect I think that these are gonna work up for me really well it also says it heats up in 80 five seconds oh and it's supposed to have like heat protection in it so that's interesting but yeah I'm excited to try these like I said on Saturday when I shoot I will use this and that'll be in the vlog I'll go through the whole process of like how I put these in and whether or not this particular set is effective but I'm really excited about this I just like it's so easy you just roll your hair and then you do your makeup and usually by the time your makeup's done the curls have set and you just take them out and it's just so easy so I can't wait to try these both my hair is gonna look so good this month but I Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work here and then later tonight I am gonna be making my dirty rice. I've made it here on the vlog before but we'll just do like a quick little sneak peek of that. Trevor has been requesting that. That is probably his second favorite meal of mine that I cook. It used to probably be his absolute favorite but ever since I made the chicken parmigiana stuffed shells those have definitely taken the top spot. But we had some leftover Beyond Meat which is so good in the dirty rice. I used to use ground turkey because I don't eat beef but the Beyond on me is way better it's just like mm, it's so delicious but anyways that's what we're making tonight so i'll see you guys later for dinner killing time you and i hours minutes days and nights trading all of our deadlines for conversations over wine killing time you and I, in this moment we're alive Infatuated with your eyes And the way they look at mine We're killing time Oh, oh, killing time Killing time Okay, dirty rice is done and now I'm just gonna grab the cabbage out of the oven and then I'm ready to eat. Oh my gosh, honey, she is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. 
dang, it's hot. It's still sizzling, but I'm going to cut up. Okay. But I'm going to cut up a lemon just to sprinkle a little bit over top. Oh my God. Yum. It's going to be so good. Okay. I'm not going to do a taste test because like I said, I've made this before on here. We already know her. If you're new to my channel, just know this recipe is bomb. It is so good, super quick, and really, really filling. And pretty diet friendly, unless you're on something like keto where you're not supposed to have rice or something like that. But for the most part, you know, lots of nutrition, fairly low in calories, and just simple and quick and super good. just got here to the mall I'm getting my nails done I just wanted to get them done a little bit earlier so I could enjoy some like Valentine's Day nails before Valentine's Day I'm gonna see if she can do some kind of design this time I do get dip powder which generally they don't do design but what I want is like very simple and like maybe she can do it on the top with nail polish I'm sure that she can honestly when you guys see what I'm talking about you're gonna be like yeah of course you could have done that I got here a little bit earlier I'm gonna just like lock my car really quick but I got here a little bit earlier because you guys saw I stopped to get some sushi my favorite roll place is over in this area so I wanted to stop and get a custom roll this one has tuna inside and cucumber and then it's wrapped with rice paper instead of seaweed and it's got shrimp on top and the tempura crunch oh my god my mouth is watering so much I'm so excited for this whoa but I had like a very very intense leg day so I figured I had a little bit of room in my food intake to be able to do a roll as well as a smoothie I was literally at the gym for probably an hour and a half I didn't film any of it because like let me know you guys I'm gonna turn you a little bit but we're gonna muck bang just a little bit don't mind the mess going on in the back of my car per usual let me know you guys if you like it when people include clips of their workout routine or stuff in their vlogs i personally like it just because i love seeing it for ideas of new workouts to try and stuff but i get it if it's like not really most people's cup of tea so just let me know what you guys prefer i can put it in or i can leave it out doesn't matter to me i want to like do whatever you guys you know would like to watch and see so happy last time i went they didn't have rice paper and i'm so bummed but mm. wow it was so good this was a good choice I have like 40 minutes till my nail appointment. I really wanted to make sure I had time for sushi today. Oh my god, this is so freaking good. Did I tell you what I got? Yeah, I did. But this morning, Michelle and I were chatting and we booked our hotel for our little getaway weekend that we're gonna take in a couple weekends. Not Valentine's Day weekend, but the weekend afterwards. She and I have been planning to do like a little girls weekend vacation. Kind of like a working trip though, because we're like, we're gonna be 
focusing on doing a lot of content and stuff but so like for our secondary job we ended up doing a hotel instead of like booking a vacation rental because most of the vacation rentals were more than the hotel that we ended up booking which was very annoying but i get why it was because of the extra cleaning fee which we appreciate but you know we're still on a budget and the only place that we could find for vacation rentals that was about the same price as the hotel first off it didn't show an extra cleaning fee and then the reviews on it a couple of people said they did question like how thoroughly the room was cleaned especially during covid time so we were like mm not that into it and then on top of that it didn't have a kitchen and our whole point of wanting a vacation rental instead of a hotel room was to have like a kitchen so that we could cook so for like if we can't cook anyways let's just get a freaking hotel room so that's what we ended up doing and also too i know on like michelle's side because she hasn't like really traveled she hasn't stayed in a hotel for like over a year the idea of a hotel just sounded like really nice and honestly really actually felt like a vacation i mean i traveled back in november but still i agreed something about knowing that we were going to stay in hotel and have like the hotel experience again is just very exciting for me so the hotel that we are staying at is so gorgeous i love it i don't think i've told you guys where we're going i actually didn't want to tell you guys so hopefully i didn't let it slip in previous vlogs but i am shooting with her this weekend we have so much Valentine's Day content to get done. We were supposed to shoot together last weekend. I wasn't supposed to go to my parents' house till like later at night, but things came up. So we didn't get to shoot last weekend. So now we're backed up on like content that we need to shoot. So it's gonna be a long shooting day on Saturday, but we're also gonna go back to her place and keep planning out the rest of the trip. Like we wanna look up restaurants that we can go to, especially now that we're out of lockdown in Southern California. So places are opening back up their patios. I mean, a lot of places have their patios open even in this lockdown because the restaurants were able to get that mandate revoked. But there's like a little bit more freedom now. So we're gonna like look up stuff like specifically that we wanna shoot in the area that we're staying in. But that is a clue, I guess, as to where we're going that it is in Southern California. I'm sure you guys are like, okay, considering the fact that y'all already live in Orange County, and it's like actually a getaway and the fact that we hate la i'm sure there's only like three locations you guys are thinking of that we could be headed to and yes it is one of those major locations this is seriously so good i'm so glad that i like stopped and got it i'm sad that i'm down to my last two pieces this is a tragedy i found like another custom roll place over by me but there's like some things that this place that i got this roll from does that the new one that i found doesn't do I mean, I don't know. I haven't like officially been in there, but according to their menu, they don't have some of the ingredients that are offered at this place, so. <laughs> Why is sushi so good? It's like one of my favorite foods. But it's like crazy to me that next weekend is gonna be the last weekend that I will spend at home in February. Cause back to back, we have our girls getaway trip, then Trevor and I have our niece's 21st birthday that we're traveling for, so. I'm literally going to be gone the last two weekends in February, which is fine. I work from home, so I'll be home all week, but I'm just like, dang, I'm just gone all the time in February, which is fine. I'm home every day. Like, I'm sick of home. Mm. I'm sad that this is over. It's all gone. Oh, well, that's what was going on this morning. That's what I was, like, working on on my computer. I think you guys saw a little bit of that. But yeah, like I said, the hotel is really, really nice. I think it was recently remodeled and we got a really good deal on it. So I'm so stoked. It's so aesthetic. Like it looks nice on the inside. Lots of places for us to shoot. Anyways, I'm gonna get out of the car, walk around a little bit, walk off my sushi just a touch. And I will see you guys after I get my nails done and show you guys what I transform these bad boys into. Okay, back home show you guys my nails here they are they're so freaking cute so i was originally gonna get pink with this little red heart on my pointer fingers but i decided to go white for pip and it still worked for valentine's day so there's my nails i love the little heart i think it's just like so cute and just a very delicate kind of valentine's day touch but i also got a package in i ordered from miss lola it's just a small order so i just figured go ahead and unbox it and i need something to open it with you guys this this room is so crazy right now okay so like i said this is just a very small order the first thing that i got was this bag and i've been seeing is it balenciaga i can't remember but it's the cassette bag everywhere and miss lola has 
a dupe for it. It looks so freaking similar. It's got the same big leather strap weaving throughout it and then this super chunky chain. You can either carry it like this, which is cute. You guys can't even see that, but like, you know, right here or, oh wow, this strap is cray. Let me get this open. Oh, that's weird. So to open it, you have to like press it down and slide it out. Never seen anything like that, but okay. So there's how much room you have in there. It's not like a ton of room, but fairly roomy. You can also wear it crossbody. It has like a longer strap or just like wear it long, but it's really cute. I've been seeing everyone style this bag. It's very noisy but it's fine. I mainly got this to shoot with, although I really, really do like it. I think it's really cute. I'm super into this style. Love. I mean, obviously I love my YSL more, but for a dupe bag, this one's really good. So obsessed. Then I also got a pair of leather trousers. I ordered a pair from Nasty Gal. I showed them in a video. Here, let me show them to you guys. I'll be returning them. They're just very plasticky. It just sticks to itself. Do you see this? Like, and like whenever I tried to walk in it, it was, no, I'm never gonna actually wear those anywhere. They're cute to shoot, but the second I start moving and trying to walk, I'm gonna be embarrassed. So we're just sticking with some classic regular leather trousers instead. So here they are. I like that the leather on this is a little bit thinner because we get very warm here. So it'll be better let more air in and stuff these are a little bit long but i think with a pair of heels it'll be fine just something with a little bit of a heel and then it has a button front but also what's nice is it has an elastic in the back and i could cry over that because honestly when you wear leather anything it feels so restricting so i love the fact that there's like an elastic back right here oh this makes it feel like this is a pair of leather pants i could actually eat in so i'm gonna try this on really quick by the way, you guys, my nail girl was like so confused when she saw me today because I never have come in with full makeup. And she was like, wow, your makeup looks so beautiful. I'm like, yeah, this is like glam to the max for me. Because if you recognize this outfit, I was shooting my January favorites video earlier today. But these fit really well. Wow. First off, love the stretch in the waist. Like every leather pant should come with this that is amazing and then also too actually the length on this is really good it's just touching the floor now that i have it on and i have it up all the way but i love them oh there's pockets too oh my god these are amazing let me tilt you guys down so you guys can see please do not judge my laundry this is not the same laundry that i had been saying for two weeks i was gonna put away this is a new load of laundry you guys can see the length on these is perfect love them i love all the room in here they are loose enough that they're comfortable but tailored enough that they don't look unflattering or anything let me do a little tuck here but yeah obsessed these are for sure my favorite pair of leather pants i've ever owned these are amazing miss lola hit it out of the park on this one but yeah that's everything that i got from miss lola those are my little valentine's day nails and i'll probably just go ahead and see you guys tomorrow i have a ton of outfits to style they're actually technically already styled because i just like write down my outfits in my calendar but i need to actually pull the pieces and just kind of put the pieces together just to make sure that it matches the vision that i wanted but yeah i'll see you guys then hey guys it's saturday so i am finally going to be using my little conair quick big curls hot rollers. I already had my makeup done and everything and then I blow dried my hair. I just used my regular leave-in conditioner and then one thing that I want to say that I feel like you definitely should use with this is some kind of volumizer. You guys know my favorite is the Kevin Murphy anti-gravity oil-free volumizer. I love this stuff. It's amazing. It just makes my hair feel so thick and full. And then I also put in just a little bit of the Jisoo honey infused hair oil before I used my Revlon volumizer like normal and I did still use like the Revlon round brush blow dryer just because I wanted my hair as smooth as possible even though I am gonna put it up in these hot rollers but let's go ahead and unbox this I'll show you guys everything that is in here so it comes with some instructions which I've already read over and then on top it's got all 12 of the clips on it and then inside whoa okay let's take that right out but inside we have the actual curlers let me open this it has a little packaging on top 
Here are the metal clips. I don't know how much I'm going to use these. I do prefer to use the clips, but here they are all 12 inside. So I need to take out these things because when I heat it up, I obviously don't want it to catch on fire. That would not be a good time. But here is what they look like. It's got like some texture on it. It almost feels like velvet and that's kind of like to protect your hair from the heat. So basically you just plug this in, let it heat up. I need to finish up my makeup a little bit. I haven't done like my lips and stuff. And then we're going to go ahead and put this in. It says to leave it in for about 10 minutes for tighter curls and then less for looser curls. So I do want it to be looser. I just want a little bit more of a blown out look with a little bit of a wave to it. So I'm only going to do probably like five to eight minutes. We'll kind of see how it goes. But yeah, let me go ahead and plug this in. I do need to plug it in over on my nightstand. Truthfully, I would normally do this in the bathroom, but the lighting is better out here. So I just want you guys to be able to see as much as possible. So it looks like it automatically turns on. This little red light is on. So I'll know it's done once there's like a little red dot on one of the curlers here. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but once that red dot turns white, is when the rollers are ready to curl. Okay, I think it's only been like five minutes, but this looks like it's ready to go. The dot on top of here has turned white, and as you guys can see, it's fogging up. So I'm gonna say we're ready, but I do want to section off my hair really quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I do wanna go ahead and work from the bottom up. So let me section it off. And by the way, this is like the first time I've made the bed since Pit Pass and I realized I forgot a pillow. Also, I didn't show it, but I picked up his ashes yesterday. I have it in his new urn, which I'll show you guys probably later tonight or tomorrow, just because I need to seal in the ashes with glue. It was actually a very easy process to do, which I know I'm so sorry, like this is probably like not the funnest conversation, but in case anyone is going through this or is just curious, it was actually really easy to do. The ashes are basically just like in a little baggie and you just transfer the baggie. So it's very easy, but I'll show it to you guys tomorrow. It is the most perfect urn for him. It's it's absolutely perfect. But anyways, okay. So my hair is still like a touch damp in like the back area, which is fine because this can be used on damp hair. So that's great or obviously dry hair. But since I have 12, as I'm sectioning things off, I just wanna make sure that I will have enough. So I'm gonna go ahead Pull this out so just like be aware of how much you're using which way do i want to go i think i'm going to go this way and, then... and it is pretty dang warm i will tell you guys that but it's not like so hot that i can't touch it you guys can see i have my hand like fully on it but there's the first one looking cute i can do three and three here roll this up But yeah, I used to use hot rollers a lot. I think back in high school. It's not like hot rollers were a thing or anything like that. I just loved experimenting with different ways to do my hair that were probably quicker and easier than like a regular blow dryer than using your curling iron. Or, you know, this is great because you can just kind of roll it up and then go about your day, do your makeup, whatever you need. Although unless you are actually looking to have the curls be super tight i would say don't do these then do your makeup because then it's gonna be like super super tight if you want a looser curl i would just do these on their own and just kind of time it i'd say probably getting dressed which is what i'm gonna do is probably a good amount of time this side for some reason is much harder than the other side i think it's just like my hand position and like which hand is being the dominant hand so first layer is done i look cute i'm gonna start with the top because i want to do two here and then just kind of figure out how the rest are gonna go i am actually burning up right now just mainly because this robe is so thick i thought it was gonna be colder this morning but also these are just very hot right next to my face and i like to do it just down the center on the top just because then the curls kind of fall naturally and really pretty. And I do have thick hair, but I feel like I'll still have enough curlers to get all of the hair, so it's fine. Why? Did this fall out or something? No, it's just like in between two layers. Got it. <sighs> I'm burning up. Dang. I just realized I don't know if I can change in this because how am I gonna pull my dress over my head? I look like a 1950s mom. Oh, last one, make sure I grab all of my hair. 
trying to find like any hair that's been missed. There we go. Clip her in. All right, I'm all set. Good, I hope that there's none that's like been missed too much. Cool, oh my God, are you shitting me right now? I'm gonna put it in this one. And there's a little preview. You know what, let me put this back on for just like a minute. Oh my God, that's so cute. And I've only had it in for like a few seconds. I'm so excited. Wow. Cool, okay. I may not be able to change, so I'm just gonna sit here. And I only honestly want these in for maybe four to five more minutes. So I think I'm fine to not change right away, but I'm gonna unplug this and then I'll see you guys in a minute when I am ready to take it back out. It's been four minutes. Let's go ahead and take these out, starting with the first one that I put in, which is, I think this one. Actually, it still feels kind of warm. Okay, whatever. Okay, let's take that out. Cute. It's a little kinky, but, oh no. Okay, no, 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 it's cute, it's cute, it's cute. Honestly, I don't really care if the bottom doesn't look amazing because it's the bottom, you know? But, okay, this got really, really curled. <laughs> Yeah, so if you leave these in past like a couple minutes, this is, it's literally gonna curl your hair. I would say the one thing that I didn't do that I wish I did was like brush each piece before I curled it, just because it's like getting caught in itself. It doesn't really matter as long as those top ones look good, honestly. I'm gonna look in the big mirror before I take out the top ones. I mean, I definitely could use more practice, but I actually really, really like this so far. Like I said, I haven't done hot rollers since high school, maybe college, but. Then the last one. It's, it's like the money shot. Oh my God. It looks so cute. I'm gonna do a little hair flip and loosen everything up. Okay, you guys, I actually like love this and I know that it's just like gonna fall, which is fine because I have an hour drive to get to Michelle. So by the time like we actually start shooting and stuff, it's gonna fall a little bit and stuff, but ah, how fun. Cute, it's just got like so much body. I will say next time though, I'm only gonna leave it in for maybe just like a couple of minutes instead of five minutes. I'd like it a little bit softer, but like I said, it'll probably fall. And then just be careful with the clips, especially if you're gonna leave it in for a long time because it will dent your hair. So I'm gonna do a little side part to hide that today, but ah, love. Okay, I'm into it. Realize I almost forgot I did want to finish it off with just like a touch of oil just because that was still a heat thing so want to make sure my hair still looks like nice and shiny and soft so there we go I'm feeling like like the middle part is cute but I almost prefer the side part yeah the side part looks better when I do my hair like this right I just like I feel like it's like bombshell hair i'm not calling myself a bombshell i am not by any means but the hair it's like bombshell hair it's like victoria's secret walk down the catwalk hair love we are now in the car stuck in traffic <laughs> but i'm on my way to michelle's place i want to drop off my laptop we're shooting in her area right now because if you guys remember i mentioned it a while back or if you follow her she moved like an hour inland so she's in a completely different area than i'm in right now than we're because she used to like live maybe 10 minutes away from me before so it's like a completely different area so we kind of like wanted to see what new areas there were to shoot in because we're just like getting a little stuck in a rut with orange county it's just like we have our set places that we know are always going to be good for photos so we just tend to go to the same places every single time so we wanted something a little bit different so we were like okay we're going to try out chino hills but afterwards we're also going to be planning our girls trip that's going to be happening in a couple of weeks obviously taking you guys along on that i'll be vlogging she'll be vlogging and then also too we're going to film like some other videos while we're there and shoot other content so make sure you are subscribed to both of us obviously but to quick check in on the hair i'm actually very very impressed with how these curls are holding up like i thought that they would have started falling by now and they haven't like really fallen that much so you know those heated rulers are definitely worth it like i love my hair i came downstairs though and trevor was like whoa you look porn star hot and i was like hmm, okay guess i'll take it 
<laughs> just pulled up to our first destination. I dropped off my laptop at Michelle's place and we're actually at Albertsons right now. Like I mentioned before, we are shooting a lot of Valentine's Day content so we need to pick stuff up and then I actually want to try to shoot a shot inside of Albertsons. You guys will see it on my Instagram so follow me there if you aren't already. But I'm gonna be wearing Oh, hey! <laughs> There's Michelle, right over here. He has a seen her. <laughs> Not you know me. <laughs> <laughs> no, show them your new haircut. Oh. Michelle just got her hair cut by our hair girl. So cute. I love the curtain bangs. <laughs> ah, I want to do curtain bangs, but like because I have the money pieces in the front, if I cut them, I'm going to lose some blonde. Yeah. Yeah. So. I think I lost the last Maybe. bit of color that she did on my hair uh -huh. way back when. Yeah. Because when she cut it off, she's like all like the blonde yeah. little bits, the lighter ends were gone. Yeah. But it looks good. Yeah, I, I like she it. cut it and we like agreed on the length, and then it was wet and straight. And I was like, okay, I think I'll go a little bit more. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, let's do it. So <laughs> it's, yeah, it'll grow. Yeah, it's fine. I was like, yeah. honestly, I like it, I, my hair's thin, so uh -huh. I like don't have a lot of volume. Yeah. So I'm excited to be able to like blow dry my hair and make it look like I've blow dry. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. So I'm showing them. I'm gonna be wearing Trevor's Letterman jacket and on I'm another like, hot day. I know, <laughs> but like, cause I'm you know, sweating. like university and like varsity stuff is like a trend right yeah. now. So he was like telling me he's like, I'm not sure if I want to keep my modern day jacket because he had dug it out of storage, and I'm like, I'll wear it. Yeah. And he was so happy. He was like, You're gonna wear my Letterman jacket? Like he was so excited. Oh. You're like. <laughs> Yes, well, it's in trend. Well, I mean, I'll wear it in general. Yeah, it's I think like it's oversized and it has comfy. your name on it too, which right? I think is kind of cool. You marry? So, 2004, eh? I know. Wow. I was graduating eighth grade. Yeah, same. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, well, yeah. The same. He was trying to ask me the other night. He's like, How old is Michelle? I'm like, Well, our birthdays are right next to each other. And he's like, Well, how old is she? I'm like, We're the same age. And he was like, Oh, I thought she was like 26. And I was like, She was going to love that. Wow. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I need to replace the lens on you guys. So I'll see you guys later. You guys, this boot won't come off. <laughs> you are gonna need all your strength, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> you need to help me. Up. <laughs> Shoot is done. We are so thirsty, so we're trying to look up spots to grab water and we both really want smoothies really bad right now hey <laughs> my car is erect per usual because i'm not good about like putting stuff away as i'm done shooting i just chuck it in the car and Ooh. change and he's gonna be home before me so i get the garage <gasps> it says there's a jamba point two miles it's a seven minute walk so if i don't mind walking do we want to walk yeah that's fine okay it's across the street, Wait, so. Do I have a different top? <laughs> do I want a sweater? It's warm. I think you're fine. It's up to you. All right, sunglasses. And we are gonna go get some smoothies. at Michelle's house planning out our next shoots. There's Michelle <laughs> with her smoothie because she got a large. Mm -hmm. I'm all done with I'm mine. I'm so glad I got a large though. Yeah. So I, w I wanted a large, but then I realized like I got a pretzel, so it was probably fine that I didn't. Yeah, but, if yeah. I had a pretzel, yeah, I think a smaller size would have been good, but yeah. I like wish I had more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm legit full, like I'm good. I could literally like, I, but I am craving like food, so I like can see how like a pizza with this. So mm -hmm. I'm sad that I didn't have pizza and this at the same time. Oh, Cause I feel like the like sweet and salty would mm. like perfect. We've got chocolate. True. Yeah. Well, sweet and sweet. Yeah. Oh, you mean chocolate with pizza? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Good idea. That's why I got the chocolate part. <laughs> really, that's what I got. Yeah, that's what that was the point. But yeah, we're planning out our next sheets right now, and then we're gonna be planning out our getaway weekend, girls weekend. Yay! Yay! I'm so excited. I know, I Did you tell them that like we booked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I actually showed clips of me booking. So. Yay! Yeah. Do they know where we're going or is it a surprise? 
I haven't stated it, but like if you guys watched the clip of me booking, you would have yeah. seen it. Because I said it in mine. I was recording and I was like, we're going here. And then I was like, is that supposed to be a surprise? I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm keeping it a surprise or yeah. not. So that's like... Two weeks from yesterday. Yeah. So two weeks So not this coming weekend, not Valentine's Day weekend, but the next weekend is when we're going to yeah. be traveling. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Uh, it can't be a surprise <laughs> in mine because... Well, actually, no. Yeah, we're going to San Diego because I think I've shown you guys things that yeah. say San Diego. San Diego! So. Yay! I hope the weather, I, oh, I think we will get two weeks out on yes. weather now. Yeah, so we'll so need to look at that, make sure that we're planning out the right outfits and stuff. But That's like a big thing. Excited. All the outfits. How yeah. much content we're going to shoot. I know. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll show you my list. I have like a full itinerary, a full like <laughs> list of all the outfits I'm bringing. I'm so excited. So. <laughs> I feel like I'm being taken away. <laughs> like on a vacation. <laughs> I always plan out my vacations like to the T. Like I'm not crazy though. I'm not like we have to hit this at this time. It's just more like a guide so that we know we get doing. everything in. Yeah. So you don't waste time. Like where should we go? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So. I do appreciate Yay. it. <laughs> when I say I have an itinerary, I mean I really put together an itinerary for essentially two and a half days. <laughs> Sarah color coded our trip to San Diego, which I'm not mad about. I'm so excited to see what we have planned. She planned a trip. For me. I feel like she planned a trip for me. You are welcome. And we're looking at the weather forecast. <laughs>so i just found out recently that michelle does not own any luggage shocking so she's getting a luggage set very excited for this i'm so happy she's getting a luggage set yay and she's got an amazon gift and card i like this color better than black perfect there you go so and like this is like a luggage set you can take pictures with like if we you yes. ever go to the airport and yeah. fly I love it. This is important for you to have. The black was a hundred something dollars, mm -hmm. and this tan color that no one wants is eighty bucks. So, so like, perfect. Yeah, I'm so excited. Perfect. Issa's here. <laughs> so excited. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, that looks delicious. So oh, I didn't know if you were vlogging. Oh. <laughs> and then we also got cheese bread. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> and then. Michelle made us cookies. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs>
I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm going to be like, I'm going to try again in the morning. Oh well, no, probably not. <laughs> it's the up to you. It's uploading to YouTube that I'm yeah. more worried about. I know it'll go on my hard drive. Got it. It's that'll be successful. Not Michelle needs a new computer for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but, right. So subscribe. <laughs> subscribe so she can get a new computer. <laughs> Oh my god, it's late. We're tired. Okay, bye. Someone tell me why Every time I fall in love It seems to be at the wrong time You walked into my life And I knew right then and there I wouldn't get you off my mind But then I looked you up And there she was In your arms all cute and stuff you Someone, no signs of breaking up. Why does my heart tread over me? Wanting someone that I can't have, can't take it back. This feeling, damn you. Yeah. What do you gotta be taking? As you guys saw, we now have a headboard. I'm very excited about this. This was actually at my sister's. She didn't need it anymore. It's technically meant for a queen. Sorry, Trevor's in the shower blowing his nose. So it's technically meant for a queen, which is why our king size mattress doesn't actually like fit into the space. So we put the body pillow on the back now, just so that, you know, we don't fall through or anything. Not that we could fall through there, but just to kind of fill in the space a little bit. But I mean, it was one of those, it was free free delivery too. So even though it's not entirely the correct size, we'll take it. And honestly, if you didn't see the gap in the back, you probably wouldn't even think anything of it. I mean, it would be nice if we had an actual king size headboard that, you know, wrapped around the bed, but we will take it for the price again of free. And it, you know, it matches the rest of our decor in here. We have our gray nightstands, it's gray, our gray comforter. So it just like worked with the space and it was just like kind of too perfect to pass up. And yes, you guys are seeing that right on my side of the bed. I got a little canvas printed out of Pip. And then for Pip also, you guys saw down here, I transferred his ashes into his urn. This is the most perfect urn for him. He was always sleeping in this position. It's 100% white. I will link the Etsy seller down below in the description, but he was so sweet. He rushed this out to us. And this is actually technically custom. He does make this like regularly, but usually he does like pink and like paints it in. I basically just asked that he just do a 100% plain one for us. And I just love it. It's like the perfect little resting spot for Pip. And you know, we have it right over where he always was. He always sat down in this corner of the couch and would just hang out in here all day. Sometimes he'd be over here sitting with Trevor and then he's overlooking the recliner, which is where he'd always sit behind me right over here while I work. So yeah, I'm just really glad that he's up there now and he's with us all the time in his like favorite room that he was always hanging out in. But anyways, today is Super Bowl Sunday. We have a friend coming over. I'm not into football, so I'll probably hang out upstairs. I'm trying to debate if I wanna film, it's just like yesterday was such a long day of content creation and stuff and I just don't wanna put on makeup, but I know it's probably better for me if I film today because I won't be bothered since they're gonna be super into football, but I don't know, I'll think about it. But either way, later on today, 
probably when it's like halftime at the Super Bowl, I am going to go to the grocery store. I don't want to go right now because it's going to be too crazy. But I'm going to go to Trader Joe's and I want to make that feta pasta that's just like all over TikTok. I've been dying to try it. Hey guys, so I, whoa, right, it's fine. But anyways, I just got done at Trader Joe's and I wanted to share some of the stuff that I got with you guys. I'm doing it in the car just because the Super Bowl is going on right now. So Trevor has his friend over and they're watching it and Trevor's blasting it and you guys wouldn't be able to hear me in the kitchen. And honestly, you could probably still hear it upstairs. So we're just gonna do this in the car. I'm not gonna go through everything, just like more of like, some of the new interesting things. This isn't one of them. This is just like the regular popcorn with olive oil and salt. But I do want to tell you guys about this stuff. So I, I think I already mentioned this, but I got some feta and then some tomatoes and fresh basil so that we can make the TikTok pasta tonight. Again, they're blasting the Super Bowl, so I wanted to tell you guys about that before I got home, and then I'll show you guys me making it, but I unfortunately won't be able to talk to you guys during that. Finally got the Brookie. I've been wanting to try it. I hear such good things about Trader Joe's Brookies, so I'm gonna see how I like that one. Another one, I finally got the Zatar seasoning. Last time I went, I got I, like their other new one. It's like some kind of Cuban one. I haven't tried it yet. I really want to try that one. But I had a recipe that I thought of and I want to use the Zatar seasoning for it. So I'll make that like later this week, which I think will be the next vlog for you guys. Got a refill of my Holy Grail. These are the Tea Tree Facial Cleansing Pads. I got their dark chocolate drizzled plantain chips with sea salt. These are new and everyone's been raving about these and well, where's my hand sanitizer? Maybe let's go ahead and try this. Yeah, everyone's been talking about these. I'm not like a huge plantain chip person. Honestly, I don't think it's been a long time since I have had a plantain chip if I've ever had one. So I'm not like really sure what to expect, but I love chocolate and sea salt together. So I figured I might as well try it, but let's go ahead give this a shot Ooh, that barely has anything on it I'm like let me get one that has a good amount of chocolate on it just you know to give it a good shot there we go lots on it okay I can fuck with that wow Okay, I have been missing out on plantain chips, 100%. That's all on me. I take full responsibility for never opening myself up to plantain chips. Wow, these are amazing. Oh my god. Okay. Fire. 10 out of 10. Wow. I also got their organic garlic naan crackers. I love the garlic naan at Trader Joe's, the frozen one. It's so freaking good. I can't get it for myself because I abuse having it in the house and I will eat too much of it. But I saw that they have the crackers version of it, so I want to see how that one is. And then to go with that, I also got their spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. I'm thinking I might also use this on the chicken with the zatar seasoning. And then the last thing I want to show you guys is this is new as well. I got their sesame teriyaki chicken wing sections. You guys know for Christmas we got an air fryer from my sister and our pantry should actually arrive ooh, tomorrow. Fingers crossed it doesn't get delayed. Once the pantry is in, we can finally bring the air fryer out. We haven't unpacked it yet because it's just so big and we just don't have the counter space for it just because the cabinets that we would use for small appliances are being taken up because it's being used as our pantry right now so once we get the pantry in there and built we can have the air fryer out so i want to try those wings in the air fryer we're gonna go home and then we're gonna make this tiktok pasta i will link a tiktok below showing you guys how to make it but basically you just bake the feta and the tomatoes all together with some olive oil and salt and pepper and then you mix in pasta and fresh basil 
and it's supposed to be really really good so i can't wait to try that but let's get home so that we can make it dinner i am so freaking full so this pasta it's like really dried up this is not the best representation of it but i still need to pack that away it was really good just know it is very rich in feta i mean you're just basically baking and melting an entire feta block then tossing pasta in it you should expect that so if you are just like unsure about the feta flavor or you don't like too much of it or anything i would definitely say to skip this trevor and i love feta but even like we got to a point with the pasta where we were like it's almost like a little bit too much not that we wouldn't eat it or we wouldn't make it again it's just like one of those we really would only have this like once in a while but i like how like easy and quick it is but anyways before i finished off this vlog and started uploading it which is gonna be the next thing i'm gonna do after this clip just want to update you guys on some of the things i bought from trader joe's because i went ahead and tried some stuff you guys can see i already dug into the brookie and this this is good it's like almost as if it's not fully cooked right here in the center where they meet so they just like melt together and it's just like so soft and gooey it's a dream it's so freaking good i love this this is so dangerous to have I definitely can't buy that every single time I go to Trader Joe's. That's very dangerous. The kit, what is it like? The kale dip or whatever? Terrible, disgusting. I didn't realize, number one, that it had mayonnaise. It says it's a yogurt dip, but they still do mayonnaise in it, and I hate mayonnaise. Like, ugh. And then also, it has red bell peppers in it, so the second I took a bite, I was like, nope, we're out, we're done. No. I mean, we already talked about this in the car, but these... <laughs> this was a surprise oh my god the plantain chips with the chocolate and the sea salt i didn't even know that i could love plantain chips this much like i didn't even know i could love plantain chips at all this, i can't stop it's so good mm. Mm. okay i gotta stop that was everything i tried out of my little Trader joe's haul tonight but i'm gonna go ahead and start uploading all of these clips so I can edit this vlog together. So thank you guys so much for following along for this week in my life vlog and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Sorry, hi, I'm back. I realized I forgot to tell you guys about these. I did try these, the organic garlic non crackers. Oh my God, these are like one of my new favorite things ever. Freaking amazing, so good. I'm salivating even thinking about these right now, but yeah, highly, highly recommend and I promise I'm done now. Goodbye you guys.